It's okay. all good. Uh, all right, I, I'm talking to Warren Redlick here at yep. the, the Tea Party in Albany, and Warren is running right now for governor, trying to get both the Republican line and the Libertarian line. And uh, let me just start out. A, a lot of people say the Tea Parties are, are just a bunch of disgruntled Republicans. Is, is that what you are, Warren? Just a Republican trying to pick up some votes here? Well, I, I am a disgruntled Republican. That is accurate. But uh, no, I mean, it, look, there are people who are unhappy with our government spending too much of our money. We're, and we're not just disgruntled with the Democrats, we're disgruntled with the Republicans. And we're, disgr we're disgruntled with the people who are running our country, who are running our state, spending our money recklessly. And it's astonishing when you actually get into the numbers and see what they're spending money on, you just can't believe it. So, so what are the issues you're going to focus on in your campaign running here? Well, the biggest issue is my, my, my campaign theme is stop wasting money. I think it's a good three-word tagline for the whole Tea Party movement. I think people like it. But, um, you know, there's certain things that are obvious, obvious waste. The head of the New York Public Library makes $689,000 a year. $689,000 a year to run a library. Now, I know it's a big library, but that's a little bit too much money. And then uh, the head of... Um, there's a, a, a public, a state hospital in New York City, Brooklyn Medical Center, something like that. The head makes almost $500,000 a year. Not a doctor. An administrator is making $500,000 a year running a hospital. And that's our money. And people, when people hear it, they get mad. And the answer is we got to do something. And so the big issue, the big idea I have for my campaign is other ideas. But the big idea is we're going to cap bureaucrat pay. State you know, public of public bureaucrats should not be making more than a hundred thousand dollars a year, and I find a lot of people agree with that. I know the name. Tell us a little bit about this sign with the pictures and all these signatures on it. What, what's it all about? Well, we got fed up with uh, the spending going on in our government, and it's about time that they got under control. Uh, and who are the, who are the people who signed this? We went down on the march on Washington, September 11th. And everybody down there, we were handing out markers and people were signing it from all over the country. Uh, uh, this was September 11th last year. Uh, and uh, uh, were these people from New York? Because uh, I see uh, you got Chuck Schumer here and uh, or, uh, David Patterson. Uh. Well, yeah, we have our senators on this. Ms. Christian Gillibrand, who voted uh, to keep funding uh, ACORN, which was really nice. Chuck Schumer. Scott Murphy, who actually voted yes on the cap and trade bill. Of course, that didn't go over to the Senate yet, but we're not happy about that either. We just need them to stop spending. We've had it with them. Have you been to any of the other tea parties, or is, is this your first one? Or uh, in, here in Albany, you said you, that other one was in Washington, right? Right. This is, uh, this is actually our second one. Our first one was down in Washington, D.C., and we live up on, around Saratoga Lake. And this is our second Tea Party. Okay, so Scott Murphy is your congressman. That's why he's up here on the, on the, on the wall of shame. Or whatever. Uh, unfortunately, yes, he is. All right, thanks for talking to yes, me. So uh, I see you have a sign here. It says, uh, audit the Fed, uh, bankers I accepting illegal loot, Obama, uh, uh, underwrite theft. Uh, and, and I like the way you're dressed here. I, I take it that's kind of symbolic. Yeah, it certainly is symbolic. I think it uh, really drives home the point that the people who are responsible for writing the legislation to uh, pass the banker bailouts is, are, are uh, criminal and, and, and need to be uh, prosecuted. Uh -huh. uh, 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 please, please note that I didn't just pick on Obama. It also says Bush. Right. I, 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 I'm not here to, to pick on one side or the other. I, like I said, I, I just liked your costume. I, I talked to Uncle Sam, too. He was over there because I, I liked his costume, too. So anyway, yeah, let, let me just read the sign again here and, and hold the sign up so, so people can see it. Maybe it says, audit the Fed, bankers accepting illegal loot, Obama Bush underwrite theft. Right. So, thanks a lot for talking to me. Bye. Uh, I, I see your sign here. It says uh, Paladino for the people. Uh, and now a lot of people say that the Tea Parties here are just disgruntled Republicans. Um, is that what you yeah, are? Just a disgruntled? No, no, no. 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 Uh, no. We're just trying to get the word out and the message out to the people of, of the the dis the government is so corrupt from the core, from the bottom all the way to the top of it. In uh -huh. We need to get the message out to people, and this is the way to do it. Okay. Uh, uh, Paladino's uh, uh, running for governor uh, for this year. Uh, you know, Warren Redlick is here, too. He's also seeking the Republican nomination and the Libertarian nomination. He's going to be speaking a little later. Mm -hmm. uh, I, don't I haven't heard him, but uh, I'm, I'm familiar with Paladino and support him all the way. He's, you know, we all have our, our past, uh -huh. but uh, 
He's a good man and he's for the people. Now, now in the past, have you generally voted Republican, Democrat, uh, a little of each in the past? I try and, and you know justify my vote by finding out about the candidate and, and voting for what I think you know he, my views are. His, if their views equal my views, then... Okay. Let me just ask you a couple of things. Uh, you, you think Sarah Palin uh, should run for president? Ron Paul, you think... Ron uh, Paul. You, you think Ron Paul should run for president? Yep. Okay. How about Sarah Palin? You, you... Um, I don't know. I'm mixed on that one. Um, I think she's she's gone... She's done wonderful things. I agree with a lot of her philosophy, but I think she's got a little learning to do yet. Okay. Thanks for talking to me. Appreciate that. Bye. So uh, I see your license plate says tyranny. Uh, I, I assume that you're trying to send a message you, that you think our government is becoming tyrannical? Or? Well, I'm afraid to say I think it may be headed in that direction. Uh, I think our uh, limits of government control are, are beyond the bounds of what they are originally intended by our founding fathers. And I'm just hoping that groups like this can send a message that we need more representation of the people and less government intervention in our lives. Now, some people say Tea Parties are just disgruntled Republicans. Uh, um, I mean, how did you feel back when Bush was president? Did, uh, did you? Well, I was no big fan of Bush either because I think one of the things he did, just as the Obama administration, is tax us beyond what was necessary and spend our tax dollars beyond what was needed and overstep the bounds of what our Constitution says the government is responsible for. Now, uh, Sarah Palin has said that she doesn't think the uh, Tea Party movement uh, should be going the third party route, that she thinks we got to back one of the others here. What do you think about that? Uh, you go Republican, Democrat, third party? I, I absolutely agree. I'm an independent myself, and I vote for Democratic and Republican candidates, and I voted for Libertarian candidates. I think it just needs to be um, a representative of the fact that there's many people who feel their voices are not being heard by our elected officials and that we need to put them on notice that we're tired of being taxed to death and regulated to death on both a state level and a federal level. Okay, let me ask you one more question. If the presidential, presidential election were held today and you had a choice between uh, Barack Obama, Sarah Palin, or Ron Paul, which one would you choose? Well, it certainly wouldn't be Barack Obama, I could tell you that now, uh, but it would probably be, I would say, Ron Paul. Either Sarah Palin or Ron Paul, it's a tough call. Okay, thanks for talking to me. Bye.